Discovery. It's Friday, May 16th. I'm Henry. I'm Hannah. And I'm Jake. So Henry, if you could change your 6th and 7th grade year, what would you do? I probably would not have shared my locker combination. And I wouldn't have procrastinated. I probably should have studied the test harder. Let's go listen to some advice from your fellow 8th graders. What is some advice you can give to 6th and 7th graders for next year? I'd say tell the truth. You're not going to get in as much trouble if you tell the truth. So it's the right thing to do. What is some advice you can give to 6th and 7th graders for next year? Um, I would probably tell them not to get involved with drama over social media because it's just not worth the time and people can say some nasty stuff on there. Uh, stay in school, kids. It's good for the mind. Yeah, it's great. What is some advice you can give to 6th and 7th graders for next year? To be kind to others and be friendly. What is some advice you can give to 6th and 7th graders for next year? Uh, I would say to branch out early so that way you can make more friends. Our parents have done so much for us throughout our life. Hey, wasn't Mother's Day just last Sunday? Oh yeah, I completely forgot. How did you forget Mother's Day? Hmm, I guess I just didn't have anything planned, anything special planned for my mom. Well, hopefully no one else forgets. Let's see what other people did for Mother's Day. Mother's Day came along this year on May 11th. Our mothers do so much for us every day, and Mother's Day is for us to give that kindness back. Our Discovery Middle School gives thanks to all the mothers around the world. Let's go see what our kids at Discovery Middle School did for our mothers. What are you going to get your mom for Mother's Day? Um, I plan on getting her really anything, but I plan on doing stuff for her. So. What are you going to get your mom for Mother's Day? I usually make her a card and then we get her favorite a dessert, which is turtle pie. What did you get your mom for Mother's Day? I got my mom a card and some flowers. What did you get your mom for Mother's Day? I got my mom flowers and a spa gift card. Happy Mother's Day to all of DMS's moms. So Henry, have you seen all that artwork around the school recently? Yeah, I have. If there was only a way that more people could see it. Well, it just so happens we're having an art show. I didn't know about that. Well, I couldn't tell you anything else about it, so... Maybe some of the art students could tell us some. Why did you take art? Um, I took art because I want to be better at drawing, and I know that you draw a lot in that class. Um, what's your favorite piece of art? Uh, my favorite piece of art that we've done this year was probably our clay pots. And are you going to be at the art show? I will be at the art show. Thank you. What time is the art show? The art show is from 6 to 8 p.m. Oh, what day is it? The art show is next Thursday. I believe it's the 15th um, from 6 to 8. Why should you go? Why should you come to the art show? Well, number one, to see the 6th, 7th, and 8th grade masterpieces. They have worked so hard this semester. I'm very proud of them again. Uh, we have lots of different types of art to see, three-dimensional and two-dimensional, all very colorful. Uh, it, it's always fun to see the talent that the 6th and 7th and 8th graders have. I mean, I think it's fun and I think it's surprising. And I am thrilled to death this year with the DMS art shows. What is your favorite piece of art? So far, I'm this entangled because it was like so creative, and we got to do many. Like, we got to express our different patterns. Why did you take art? Um, I guess I've always just been a really weird child, and it's kind of nice to just be able to express it in some way. So Hannah, I just love baseball season. Same here. I can't wait to go to all the Royals games this year. Well, I was watching a White Sox game and I could have sworn I saw something familiar. Oh really? Like who? Well, uh, the pitcher. I'm pretty sure he went to Liberty High School, but I'm not sure. So let's ask some of our classmates about this. Scott Carroll was a pitcher from Liberty. He ended up going to Missouri State to play baseball and then he got drafted by the Cincinnati Reds for Major League Baseball in 2007 in the third round. He ended up going to the Chicago White Sox where he played double A and triple A baseball until he was ready for the major leagues. Recently he pitched against the Tampa Bay Rays and got the win allowing only two runs. 
Scott Carroll now has one win and two losses in three starts. His ERA is 3.63, and he averages two strikeouts for every nine innings and two walks for every nine innings. So, Henry, I may or may not have snuck into the teacher's lounge the other day. Jake, you sound like a risk taker. You got that right. I also got some exclusive footage of it. How about you share these secrets with the school? I will, and probably should go check on that security camera out in the kitchen. Later. See you later. Yo, what's happening? This is MTV Cribs, and if you don't know the name, that's a shame, but I'll tell you anyway. This is R. Kelly. We're here at my crib, also known as Discovery Middle School. Let's check it out. Yo, once again, this is R. Kelly. This is my ultimate workout room where I come to lift some serious weights, get some good exercise, but no flash photography in here. I would hate to scare the villains. Once again, this is R. Kelly. We're here in the teacher's lounge. This is where our teachers come to get a break from us once in a while because, you know, we can be a little exhausting sometimes. The teachers are hungry. This is the perfect place to be, and as expected, there's always coffee. They may be coming here for a quick break, but they always keep it fresh. Once again, this is R. Kelly. This is the stage where everyone who's uh, sitting in my dining room can see. And we're getting a backstage look. This is where all the action happens when they have musicals and plays. As you can see, the lighting up here is pretty complicated. There's a lot of props that go back and forth through here, and it's pretty cool. Once again, this is R. Kelly, and because, you know, I'm so famous, I need my own personal recording studio. Here's a little behind the scenes. This is where my people are working real hard every day on the school news and also on my new album. Wait, did I just say that? Cut that out. Nobody's supposed to know about my album. Hey, thanks for watching this episode of MTV Cribs and hanging in my crib with me. Hopefully you got a nice behind the scenes look. R. Kelly, out. Attention Discovery Middle School. We have some new information straight from the office concerning new usernames for Liberty students. Do we get to pick our new usernames? I don't think so. Maybe some other people can tell us more information about this. Well, you see, DMS, we will be getting new usernames in the next two weeks, which is by the end of school. And we will be getting an email from the district about what it'll be. Now, my name is Peyton Watkins. And the username will be your first letter of your first name and your first three letters of your last name. So it'll be P, Watt, and then four random numbers. And that's what it'll look like. So I'm definitely not the greatest runner known to man. Clearly. There are some pretty speedy runners in the sixth grade running a 5K this weekend. They might smash a record or two, Henry. Hopefully. The broadcasting team would like to wish good luck this weekend to Carly Brenton, Allison Bolt, Lauren Bookins, Carmen Cadillo, Samantha Dietschler, Anna Dorsky, Cassie Fuentes, Phoebe Kurtek, Britton Melton, Cameron Phillips, Alex Simmons, and Kylie Sobel. We hope that all their training has paid off and that they have fun at the 5K this weekend. Hey Hannah, do you know anyone who has been in the military? No, but I've had some friends whose parents have served in the military. Well, Breakfast Club is doing this really neat thing where they honor kids and their parents in the military. That's really cool. I can't imagine being away from my parents for that long. Me neither. Let's talk to some kids around the school about their family heroes. Patriot Day is a day that we're going to honor our students who have a direct family member serving in the military, uh, whether that be their parents, a brother, or sister. We want to make sure that everybody understands that it's not only the service person who is making a great sacrifice for our country, but also the entire families. And so here really soon we will uh, 
kind of highlight those students and let everybody recognize them and honor them for their sacrifice and contributions to our great nation. We are honoring the students at DMS that have an intermediate family member that is currently serving in the military. The veteran in the family is not the only trooper. Serving in the military puts stress on the whole family and can easily cause depression. In military families across America, more than 900,000 children experience the deployment of one or both parents at least once in their lifetime. In families with combat-related injuries, 68% reported high distress in children. Over the last decade, more than 10,200 children have suffered the loss of an intermediate family member in combat-related death in the U.S. Children in military families often experience disrupted relationships in education because of frequent moves in distress at home. So apparently we have a show choir in this school. It's been there the entire year, Jake. How have you not heard of it? Well, considering I've never even heard about the tryouts or practices. Fair enough. I'm kind of curious myself about show choir. Maybe our fellow broadcasters can tell us more about this fascinating club. What is show choir? Show choir is a club um, where we all sing and dance, um, and we get to school at 6.30 three days a week. And the music that we sing and dance to is like modern, contemporary, and Broadway. What do you like best about show choir? Uh, getting to know the 6th and 7th graders. Getting to hang out with my friends. Okay, I can't believe school is almost over. The year sure has gone by fast. You know what also has gone by fast? The broadcast. That's right. Thanks for tuning in, Discovery. Tune in next week to see more from your broadcast team. Have a great day, DMS. So right now I'm going to go uh, check out this place no one's been to, so uh, later. Well, I think that show went pretty well. Yeah, me too. Hey, do you want to go see that place Jake was talking about? Sure, let's go.